all right viewers it's been six months after the independence day celebration right here in the volta region and this is the youth resource center volta region but it's popularly known as adaku youth resource center and it's been exactly six months so we are going to go inside to give you updates of works that have been done here we want to actually see whether they've actually abandoned the works here at the adaku youth resource center or work is still ongoing so let's go inside Right, viewers, and um, you are finally inside the Adaku Youth Resource Center, and it's exactly six months now after the Independence Day celebration. And this was where um, they hosted the uh, pro program at. And where I'm sitting, you see, is where most of the dignitaries that came all the way from Accra or all walks of life uh, sat when the celebration was ongoing. And this was where the Excellency of the Republic of Ghana also sat. And, uh, like I stated in the intro, we just want to come and have a view of the whole place and see how uh, things are ongoing here. We actually want to see if work has actually been abandoned. If you could remember or you are a frequent visitor of our channel right on YouTube, you will realize that um, some few months back we made a video here after the Independence Day celebration where we promised that we will be coming back here to give you updates concerning the place. And today we're here, six months time, we back here. At the Adaku Youth Resource Center, we want to give you updates of the place. You know, Premier League is coming on. It's already happening, Ghana Premier League. And we want to see if actually they've abandoned the project or they are trying to do things or they are trying to work on things here to make it possible for some of the clubs, especially in town. Now that we have clubs in town that will be joining the Premier League to see if they will be utilizing this particular facility for most of their activities. So we are going to walk around to show you images of the place already uh when we enter this place we are seeing things that are showing that uh, actually they've abandoned the work uh, because you could see their tractors their cars all over the place packed and weeks all over uh, you've seen the weeks all over the place somebody is even using uh, the pavement that to dry corn and uh, that shows that they've abandoned the work at the other crew youth resource center it's just six months after the Independence Day celebration, right here in the Volta region. You know, this year Volta hosted the uh, 66th Independence Day celebration uh, in Ghana, and this was where they used. Uh, and we were actually expecting that after the Independence Day celebration, because they were in haste to finish up with some of the works here, so that the event will happen. Uh, so we were actually expecting that after the Independence Day celebration, uh, they will be able to, you know, continue with the work and this place will become one of the best in the uh, region for sports activities but uh, here we are today to give you updates on things that are happening here most of the works have been abandoned here at the Adaku Youth Resource Center and you are seeing things for yourself some of the pavement blocks are here and they've been parked here literally and it's just like a recent something that they came to mold here and we don't know how soon they are going to start uh, the work again or they will resume work and so these are some of the pavement blocks we've seen here and the last time we came i think this tractor or uh, this caterpillar was parked somewhere over there. Uh, but this time around they'll be parked here in italy uh, the car we are going to get closer for you to have a view of the car to see uh, the state in which the whole cars are uh, that should tell you that we are not deceiving you but you are also seeing things for yourself are the grounds here at the Adaklu Youth Resource Center uh, in Volta and an annual celebration was held here and this is a tractor we're talking about here so you are seeing it and the tie you see and even from the look of things this alone should tell that this has been packed there for several months without moving it so you are seeing it because the card has been used if you see you, you can see it so all right so we are going around for you to see as well all right so this is it and 
this is also an example when you get closer here you see it for yourself <laughs> this is like a swimming pool now uh, so this is meant for fetching sand and also excavating you know but then here you go it's now accumulating different things all together here so we are here today to show you this then this car here too has been abandoned here buried here in the soil it's actually buried here in the soil at the Adaku Youth Resource Center so you are seeing it for yourself yeah it's been buried yeah so you see the tie there and this tie in particular has actually been buried completely buried so that should tell you that we are not moving them because the work has actually been abandoned here at the other resource center i don't know it's just sad to see this thing happening in our country our beloved country yeah kwame Nkrumah once said we are free forever but then we are not seeing the freedom we are not at the food youth resource center we are not seeing the freedom in ghana as a whole all right so we are going to take you to this side too so on the 6th of march this was where they you know brought most of the horses the horses that the military use for their displayed uh, they, they use in displaying most of the activities here uh, this was where they parked them at so you are seeing the place it's very weedy uh, it's full of weeds it's, it's, it's because maybe they've applied the weedy side here so you are seeing this and realizing that the weeds are down a little bit they are down because it's like they are trying their best to control the weeds here all right so we're moving to another place here okay oh so this actually even turned into a pond where there were fishes so these are mud fish but they are all dead because the the, the the water has actually dried out so they are all dead so you are seeing it so this actually became a pond and it's even accumulated fishes you see now about i think these are about five fishes here oh my oh my i was i, 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 I wish i could come and meet them here then out was where the horses where so this particular place was where they using accommodating the horses that they brought here on the 6th of march 2023 for the independence day celebration so we are seeing the place we are not exaggerating we are telling you things we've seen on the ground and you are also seeing it and if you are now joining our, our channel to be pleading with you to subscribe and also comment share your thoughts with us in the comment section like and share this video uh, with others maybe your sharing may be able to solve the problem here by you sharing it more people more and more people will be able to view this video and it could actually bring some sort of solutions here at the adaco youth resource center in the volta region so we're pleading with you to do us a favor like the video subscribe to the channel and also share with others to also uh, make sure that this video gets to people so that they will be able to come and uh, quickly work on this project here in the Volta region. So you are seeing things here for yourself. All right, so we're still here on the grounds at the Adaku Youth Resource Center. I think the last time we checked it was about 5,000 capacity here. So this is a very neat place and weeks are here all over. I think the weeks here all over at the Adaku Youth Resource Center. And this can be done for sporting activities here because the premier league season is already here so once we are able to finish work here well, we can also host games in the water region because our stadium which is the whole sports stadium is one of the worst so far in the region and it's nothing to you know talk about nothing positive that can be said about the whole sports stadium so if this should be worked on oh my oh my a whole lot of people will trip in here to watch games in the water region this can be a regional something for the premier league all right so we've seen it for the last time like i said about 5,000 capacity so just imagine very beautiful one fresh stadium used for the sister cities independent day celebration right in the water region and after the celebrations they've abandoned the whole place the entire place has been abandoned all right so let's get closer to the pitch okay so this is the pitch it's full of weeds you usually know that we have to grow grasses on the 
park to play ball but then this kind of grass you're seeing uh, it's not the kind of grass that is usually used for football matches you can testify for yourself uh, these are not weeks we need on this particular pitch so it has mixed with the carpet grass so this has to be dealt with before any other thing can be done here well we met some people here on the grounds and they were telling us that some people have been coming here you know so we don't know how soon they are going to start with our works here but uh, so far you what we are seeing is what we are sharing with you and you are also seeing it for yourself so let's get close i'm seeing a pool here so probably maybe they brought this here so that it will be mountains let's pray we keep praying that something positive happens in the water region because it's like most of the projects has been abandoned in the water region so here you go this is it so you see the pitch it's full of weeds yes and not the kind of weed that we need for the pitch so usually we do use this carpet grass for football pitch but what we are seeing here other weeds has been mixed with the carpet grass so that should tell you that after the 66 independence Day celebration right here in the water region at the youth resource center has been abandoned right so this is uh one of the posts we seen here. I probably maybe they brought it back so that they will mount it because after that was during rather during the celebration they actually uprooted this post. Yeah, they took them off for the celebration. So maybe it's obvious after the celebration they just brought it back to you know the place here. But uh, who knows? So this is what we seen here. Most of the work has been abandoned, nothing is ongoing again nothing absolutely nothing is ongoing here again this big place has been abandoned meanwhile clubs in the water region are in search of places just to do training but well, the last time i can't remember the last time we were going to hike at Akul mountain we saw a club i uh, that was using a smaller pitch for training activity so if they should work on this this can be used for you know other sporting activities like training they can come here and also play matches here so we are just praying and also pleading with the right for authorities that they will do the needful so that they will come and work on this pitch or this youth resource center right here in the water region water also deserves the best we cannot always be sitting in the house and also be watching matches on television if they should be able to work on this youth resource center we, we all can come here and also come and enjoy the premier league here as well because once they are done with this pitch i know for sure or this youth resource center i know for sure that matches will be hosted here because I think Homestar has qualified uh, for Division 1. Homestar has qualified for Division 1. So, and, and it's not only Homestar. We have other clubs in the water region that are also qualified for, for Division 1. So, you see, these are all clubs in the water region. They qualify for Division 1. We would also want to enjoy sports. You see, water needs sports. We need something that would also bring us together. So, we pleading with the uh, rightful authorities to come to uh, this place you come back to the field and come and start work here at the Adaklu Youth Resource Center. So uh, I think, yeah, so you see it. So this is what we're talking about. This is actually what I was talking about. And I put some, oh, let me use my strength. So here you go. So these are actually not the appropriate widths that have to be on this particular field. Come on. Water deserves the best. We also deserve something positive. We deserve something positive. So we're going to the far end and see. Well, the last time we came there, some people were working there. So let's see if the pavement they were laying, they've been able to finish. So now let's go there. So the last time we came here, right, and this was where um, those that usually work on pavements were. They were laying pavements here before we came here. That was after the Independence Day celebration. I think some few weeks after the celebration, we came back here to see if actually they'll continue with the activities. So when we came, we actually met some gentlemen here that were working on this particular uh, pavement here. They were laying this pavement here. So we were hopeful and we were, uh, we came with a view that oh, oh this once they are still working, then probably six months on, uh, they will be done with most of the work or majority of the works will be dealt with. But uh, it is not so. Coming back today, we are realizing that it's absolutely not so. Different things altogether here. Yeah. They've actually abandoned everything. And, uh, per the information I'm getting so far indicates that now we have Akacho as all in the water region. Uh, Pando House of Lion is now back to the Premier League. So just imagine finishing this pitch or this facility. This will actually be a place where Pando House of Lion would come and you know be utilizing for their games because this is 
Kulisa as compared to Sugar Copper that they are currently using. And you understand Peter Amewu is also building an astro there for uh, his people in uh, Hohoe. Yeah, but then if this should be done, most matches in the water region will be hosted here because this is a bigger facility. This is also in the heart of the region or this is closer to the region because Adakulu and Ho is not far. Uh, it's just a walking distance because the Independence Day celebration, most people will be trekked and came here. So if they should hear that they are playing matches here, and my oh my engagement should be like 10 cities, 20 cities, a whole lot of individuals will be here. So work has been abandoned here, the polytanks are over there, the gate has not been fixed here, they just left it on the floor, which will be getting closer for a few of It has been left on the floor, and leaving it on the floor alone will make it rust, because this is a metal, so you leaving it on the floor alone will make it rust, so if they don't come back early to work on this, that means before they come back here, this will actually be damaged here at the other youth resource center. And once again, if this is your first time of you visiting our channel, we're pleading with you, like this video, share your thoughts with us in the comment section, and also share with others, because you sharing this video with people will be able to, you know, trigger some sort of alarm, so that the appropriate authorities would be aware that, yes, indeed, they've actually abandoned something here, of which I know they are aware, but uh, we adding our voices will be able to make them come back and start with this work as soon as possible. So uh, the last time we came here, this gate wasn't here. So now they brought it, it's been left on the floor here. Yeah, so it's been left on the floor here. You're waiting patiently for them to come and fix it. Yeah, everything has been abandoned here. No work is ongoing here at the youth resource center right here. So the poly tanks have been left. This is a poly tank here, it has been left here. Yes. This is it at the Adaptive Pressure Center. <laughs> the place is full of millets. I don't know if somebody is actually using it for some sort of farming activities here, but then you can see millets from afar. Yeah, so that's what we're seeing right here at the YouTube Resource Center. Right, so folks, I think this is the update we're giving uh, the six March celebration. Uh, that has been six, we celebrated on the 6th of March, and it is also six months now after the celebrations and the work has been abandoned everything has stopped here meanwhile premier league is already on and we are expecting that the appropriate authorities will do the needful until then catch you next time please subscribe to the channel and hit on the post notification bell for more updates